Dear Diary, I'm a 43-year-old mother of five, and today I feel like Erin Brockovich. No, my tiny rural town is not subjected to years of contaminated drinking water leading to disease, death and destruction. My tiny rural town is only subjected to kind, romance novel gobbling dog walkers, not all of them female, and angry, bigoted honkers who seem to hate the placement of our car that is by the entrance of our home. And some who look like angry, bigoted honkers but turn out to be kind, romance novel gobblers once you get to know their dogs. No, my fight takes place within. Make no mistake. It really is a fight against the evil poisoning of our capitalist society. Only my beef is with the two wrestling foes, Musky and Mr. Meta, whose only redeeming quality is that he has a normal looking wife, despite being so rich he could sustain his whole family on a diet consisting entirely of saffron. Why, Musky boy, do I seem so drawn to fighting invisible political battles with people I don't know? And we'll never meet by posting great gachas followed by links to sources with no headlines, only to not read replies until days later for fear that my opponent is smarter than I. It's poisoning my life. I'm constantly in two places at once. I'm at the Tavistock discovering secret email correspondence while waiting for my smallest to fall asleep. I'm with the victims of Kfar Aza while on a toilet break at work, in the stall next to two 12-year-old girls agreeing on which one of their friends isn't fashionable enough to come with them to the one euro shop after school. I'm in Denver, where a man wearing a dress upsets both sides of a debate. One because he says he's a man, one because he wears a dress, while doing three days worth of dishwashing because a mouse bit up the cable of the dishwasher. Now, I wouldn't say I'm like Erin Brockovich in all ways. I don't think anyone would be interested in getting my number. One, they could just look me up on Facebook and messenger stalk me. Or look me up on Twitter and realize they should immediately stop messenger stalking me because I'm batshit crazy. Two, where would they even meet me? In my home with my husband who's grown into my semi-attached twin and our kids who suffer from varying degrees of hearing impairment that make them scream, yell or most annoyingly, sing every waking minute. At home, not in school. Just here, at the place where I'm supposed to meet a person who would ask for my number so that I can reply, you want my number? Here's a number. 172, that's how many centimeters I am tall. It's down from 174 pre-kids. I blame the varying roles of motherhood, one of being to transform oneself into a playground climber at will or overdosing magnesium due to a very large consumption of pick-me-up chocolates that I so far managed to hide from my children, although my husband tends to find the empty wrappers in the car afterwards. Or maybe it's just a small burden of carrying your whole life on your shoulders at all times, I guess. Zero, that's the number of kilos I lost after performing a three-day water fast last month. One. That's how many creamy potato gratins got burned in the oven last night when I was too busy listening to Cal Newport's podcast imagining my future as a deep working small scale artistic entrepreneur. 10 and also simultaneously zero. That's the number of valid vocations I have managed to collect during my very busy years. More on that later. That's it for today. See you tomorrow or next week or if my husband gets post-Covid again in a few months' time. Yours with love, Bilda.